Gary, thank you so much for speaking with me as we speak. I'll say Happy New Year because we're just picking into 2020. And you guys are always the first folks I actually get a chance to speak with every year because you are part of something that I usually consider the first big Canadian music award show to happen every year. It's coming up very soon as we speak, and it's one of the most fun and entertaining. Can you explain to the folks who are listening to this on Rudy Blair Entertainment Media what award show we're talking about here? Uh, we're talking about the Maple Blues Awards today, uh, Rudy, and it uh, represents... Uh, the, the blues community from coast to coast in Canada. And besides giving out uh, the awards in all of the different categories, uh, I think there's probably uh, at least a dozen or so different categories that cover all of the instruments, uh, the vocalists, recording of the year, songwriters, uh, entertainer of the year, electric act, acoustic act, a lot of, a lot of variety of uh, different parts of that blues music scene. Uh, this year we're uh, hosted by Raha Javanfar, uh, leader uh, and bassist of Bad Luck Woman and Her Misfortunes. We're representing the whole company, uh, the whole country rather, with live performance with uh, Miss Emily from Kingston, Don Tyler Watson from Montreal, Big Dave McLean from Winnipeg. Machadas Parish from up in Aurelia. And once the awards are all over, we move out to the lobby of Corner Hall, and Toronto's Blackburn Brothers uh, provide uh, the after party entertainment. And one special feature this year is uh, Raha is bringing in uh, her students from the Regent Park School of Music to perform with her uh, for uh, young people from that school of music will be part of her performance. So there's a a lot of great things happening at this year's awards show. You know, I'm going to jump right into what you just said about the after party because this is something very special. Every year, it's literally like one of those things where if you're not there to see it, it's not going to happen again because there are so many uh, incredible things that can happen during that jam fest. It's, it's you know, like I said, it's incredible. Yeah, that's right. Usually uh, the way it works is the, the group that hosts the after party, one um, aspect of that after party is most of the winners, uh, the award winners, uh, slide onto that bandstand at some point during um, that after party and do an impromptu performance. So you don't know what's going to happen. Uh, there's a whole mix and match thing with different people performing together that maybe, uh, you know, they haven't seen each other in a while or maybe they've never performed together at any time. Um, it's incredible. It's a whole other, uh, you know, part of the evening. The What happens on the main stage is fantastic with the live performances and the awards being handed out. And then it moves out into the lobby, which is huge. It's like a venue in itself. Uh, it's a real uh, schmooze fest with people from all over the country connecting uh, on the business side, but also there's this great music coming off the stage uh, where you just know from one minute to the next, you don't know what's going to happen, right? Who's going to show up? Absolutely. Like I said, it's a one in a lifetime every year. Who are some of our big nominees this year? Well, it, it, it goes right across the board with the, uh, with the nominees. Um, uh, just to uh, name a few in the Entertainer of the Year category, we have uh, Don, Don Tyler Watson, Down Child, Sue Foley, Electric Act, Colin James is in that category, Samantha Martin and Delta Sugar, uh, the Acoustic Act of the Year, Harry Manx, Matt Anderson, Michael Jerome Brown are all nominated then, the vocalists, Harp Dog Brown, Harrison Kennedy, Steve Mariner, female vocalist. Angel Forrest, Miss Emily, Samantha Martin, Shakira Saida, New Artist, Bywater Call, Durham County Poets, Machadash Parish, Recording Producer of the Year, Colin Linden is in there, Don Tyler Watson, um, Matt Anderson again, and also we honor the international artists as well with the B.B. King International Artist of the Year Award. Buddy Guy is a nominee there, uh, Ghost Town Blues Band, Mavis Staples, Songwriter of the Year, Big Dave McLean, Don Tyler Watson, Robert Conley Farr, Blues of the Feeling Award, which is a lifetime achievement, um, Alec Fraser, Ben Parkin, Danny Brooks, Michael Jerome Brown, Tom Lavin, the guitarist, 
Anthony Gomes, Garrett Mason, Jack DeKaiser, harmonica player Al Lerman, Jim Zeller, Steve Mariner. I'm only uh, giving a portion of them because there's more names than that. Uh, the keyboard player, piano player, Dwayne Blackburn, David Vest, Kenny Bluesboth Wayne. Uh, Horn player of the year, Chris Whiteley. Uh, Richard Thornton, drummer of the year, Chris Norquist, Gary Craig. Tom Bona, bassist of the year, uh, Alec Fraser. Uh, Keith Decott, uh, Leon Staten. Uh, so, you know, we pretty much cover all the bases. There's now, you kind of, I was going to say, you kind of mentioned about um, the uh, Lifetime Achievement Award, which is something that is very important. Can you go back to that and explain who it is and why they're receiving this? The Blues with a Feeling Award, there's uh, 12 different people, or sorry, at, uh, not 12, there's Eight different people in that category, uh, blues musicians from across the country. These are all veterans. These are all people that have dedicated their lives to blues music in Canada and the world. And Blues with a Feeling Award is recognizing that contribution, that they've been there for, uh, you know, their, a, a career spanning um, lifetime uh, that they put into it. You know, the, they're life members, so to speak, and they're being uh, every year one member of that group is recognized with the Blues with a Feeling Award. And I should mention while we're talking, there are two uh, separate awards that are given out within the Maple Blues Award. There's the Cobalt Award, which is given out to uh, a songwriter that is taking the blues into the future and new direction. Uh, it's it's a, an award that is uh, dropped into the Maple Blues Awards. And this year, a new award, the Sapphire Award, is an uh, award that's giving out for the best video that's been submitted. And both those awards are uh, cash prizes go along with the award. So it helps the artist uh, to pay back some of what they've invested into creating uh, their art, so to speak. So when is this all happening? Where is it going to be happening, and how do we get tickets? Because, again, these tickets go extremely fast. Yes, okay. I have all of that information right in front of me here. It's at Corner Hall, which is a beautiful venue in the TELUS Center uh, that's sandwiched right between the Royal Conservatory Music and Varsity Stadium at 273 Bloor Street West. That's Bloor and Avenue Road in Toronto. Uh, tickets are on sale right now. There's a phone number for tickets, 416 416- Four zero eight zero two zero eight, or you can go to rcmusic.com slash performance or torontobluesociety.com. The Toronto Blues Society are the producers of this show in conjunction with Corner Hall. Looking forward to this. Like I said, it's the first. It's, it's the music event. It's the music award show that kicked off uh, not just 2020, but uh, the whole decade. So congratulations on that. Looking forward to seeing who the nominees are and the winners. But more importantly for me, it's that the the, the after party because I know <laughs> yeah. it's going to be a blast. My friend, thank you so much for the interview. Looking forward to seeing you guys. And again, uh, thank you so much for what you guys do for Canadian music. Thank you, Rudy. I appreciate the call. Uh-huh.